I have a new Lightroom tutorial for you all today and I'm going to be showing you how to edit your photos with a muted kind of vintage look. So this is the photo we're going to be editing and let's jump straight into it. So the first thing I want to do is edit the tone curve and I'm going to add an S curve to kind of mattify the picture and already start giving it a film like look by just editing the tones. So I like to bring up my blacks across the edge of the box to lift up any black tones. And then I also like to bring down the shadows to bring that contrast back and then kind of filling out the S curve and bringing down the highlights to kind of mute the whites as well. Once I've got my basic S curve down, sometimes I like to go in and kind of tweak the little points a little bit until I'm happy with what the image looks like. So I think just there is good. So the next thing I like to do is sharpen my image because I feel like I can't concentrate until I've sharpened my image. So I'm just gonna do that straight away. I like to create a little ladder with the sharpening tool. And now we can get into editing the colors and everything else of the photo. So I'm going to bring up my exposure a little bit. And I'm also going to bring my highlights up as I kind of want this photo to look a little bit um, like the tiniest bit overexposed in a way. And I'm also going to bring my blacks down just to add a tiny bit of contrast into the image. The next thing that I want to do is adjust the vibrance and saturation. So bringing up the vibrance saturates the cooler colors in the image. So like the greens and blues and stuff like that. And saturation brings up like the orange and the reds, like the warmer colors. So I like to bring my vibrance up and I like to bring my saturation down. So that's looking pretty good in my opinion. The next thing I like to do is adjust my temperature and tint. So I'm going to bring the temperature up to make the image a little bit warmer. And I'm also going to bring the, the tint up so it's a little bit more pink. So I think just about there is good. Now moving down to HSL, in order to make our image look a little bit more vintage like, which it's already getting there, I kind of want to desaturate the greens of the photo. So to do that, I'm going to bring down the yellows first and then also bring down the greens. So just about there is looking really good. And I'm going to go back up and make the image a little bit warmer again with the temperature and also bring the saturation back up a little bit. And last but not least, I am going to head into split toning where I want to edit the highlights of the image to be a little bit warmer. So I might give it like a little bit of a yellow tone. And once I'm happy with the hue of the image, you can play around with the saturation depending how much you want it to affect your image. So if you want it to be like really vintage, you can bring your saturation really up high, which I think looks quite nice for this photo. So I'm going to leave that there and then I might play around with the shadows a little bit, but I'm pretty happy with what it looks like just with the highlights. But in saying that, a little bit of green in the shadows actually looks really nice in my opinion. So I'm going to bring the saturation of that way down because I only want it to be really subtle. And I might also bring the saturation of the yellow highlights up a little bit more as well. Okay, so I'll show you a before and after. So this is the original image straight out of the camera. And this is the edited image of what I just showed you. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all really soon. Bye.